we as a clinician should talk only which is science is saying. And this we know from our DCCT trial. I remember when I was a medical student, Madam once upon a time she asked me what is DCCT trial and I told that I don't know about that because that was 93 to 96, the trial was going on. And she told me if you don't know DCCT and UKPDS, it means you don't know diabetes. So on the same day, we started reading what exactly DCCT and I always say it is like a pranam to all those DCCT investigator, all those children and all those caregiver who has done DCCT trial in those years before 35 years. At that time, HbA1c was not an established way of monitoring. Glucose meter was of older variety. NPH and regular insulin was only available still they thought of that primary objective of treating these patients for an intensive control and what was primary endpoint reduce the complication and achieving below 7 a1c and how they were achieving multiple time hypoglycemia 60 per 100 patient year it means every alternate week they were developing severe hypoglycemia mind where severe hypoglycemia is still motivation of all those doctors all those caregivers and all those patients were so that so much so that they could complete the trial to show this world a intensive control in a type 1 is going to give them a long and complication free life and this is very important and since last 35 40 years we are struggling that how to overcome this hypoglycemia see 100 years back insulin had come we know that this is a life but it was not life because it was only insulin it was given just to prolong the life. It was again longer acting. It was no more longer acting. They made it NPH. And the constant evolution and science had discovered something or more to give better quality of life. And today, when a pump had come, which is an advanced hybrid closed loop system, again, believe me, I am not from the company. I am not just supporting the company. But I believe so much so that if you have a patient in front of you and see that if you develop diabetes type 1, if you have a child which is type 1 diabetes, what's the treatment you are going to tell? Are you going to tell the 6 times today the sugar? Are you going to tell the basal insulin to take once? And you are going to take 6 times short acting insulin with the carbohydrate counting and then everything insulin carb ratio and correction dose? No. With the advantage of a insulin pump therapy which is an advanced hybrid closed loop system. I am telling completely you are physician out. I mean just tell the person to go for the pump. So that's what the advanced hybrid closed loop system is there. They had already talked about it. But we do a dedicated meeting only on technology. Because technology in India is evolving like anything. Around the world in diabetes technology is increasing like anything. But still in India very few physicians are adopting. Not physicians even endocrinologists. Forget about endocrinologists, even pediatric endocrinologists, everyone are accepting technology very, very less in their clinical practice. Hardly 1%, 2% doctors are actually prescribing the best therapy. If I am not writing the patient the best therapy, it means it's not that ethically I am wrong. I am criminally doing something wrong also for my patients. For this, we have a dedicated meeting only on technology. One day before of two days conference, we do a insulin pump school. So, you know, in 40 minutes, it's really difficult to discuss all the aspects of pump. We do a dedicated meeting of technology in that six hours of a insulin pump school. And who is who in the world who are taking care of the all the search around the pump and everything? They are the one who will be there to teach us. So, I will request everyone who are really interested in technology in insulin pump, in continuous glucose monitoring and many more newer aspects of the technology, please register for this meeting. It is in Jaipur. It is in month of May, which is not a good month to go to Jaipur. It is only for the conference, not to go for Jaipur sightseeing. It's only for the conference. That's the reason we have kept a May temperature will be 45 degree outside. <laughs> with this, we have with us Sharda and Saurabh. And they are the one, first of all, I'm thanking you for coming here for a doctor's meeting. And I mean, but it will be really good. They were in UK. And in UK, you know, something which they had changed in 2017. One of our Indian guy, Partha, very close friend of mine, started doing a advocating that all the persons with type 1 diabetes cannot be only on self-monitoring of blood glucose. 
let us put everyone on continuous glucose monitoring and with a single person and then he had created a team of people around the UK and UK government decided, NHS decided that everyone who is on insulin therapy, everyone who is in type 1 diabetes, whether pediatric or adult, should be on continuous glucose monitoring. Then after 5 years, and the data which is just shown by Manoj that he was talking that around 70% of the patient is still on a continuous glucose monitoring are not able to achieve tight glycemic control. Even they might be doing flash glucose monitoring 100 times in a day or you might be taking 100 shots in a day but still it will not be possible because it's like I always tell my patient how I explain my patient why he should be on pump therapy and these two guys who had come from UK and they shifted and then I put here on insulin pump. Even they were on continuous glucose monitoring. They were taking best treatment from NHS and they were saying that, Doc Saab, I am taking treatment from UK. You know why you are saying me to go on insulin pump? And they were maintaining their h one less than 7. And that was the reason they were not given insulin pump in NHS because their sugar was very well controlled. So even I could convince someone who is HP1C was the best control. But still, we convinced them for a insulin pump therapy, why that will be, we will be asking them. So then NHS decided that no, this is not the best treatment because still we need the best and best one is advanced hybrid closed loop system. In last couple of years, advanced hybrid closed loop system is available. We are the lucky one in India. We got this advanced hybrid closed loop system even before USA. We have since last one and a half years almost roughly and now we are promoting it for all our type 1 diabetes. Forget about the company part, it is the best therapy which we can give to our patients. I tell that patient that suppose you are going from Sabarmati to Nehru-Nagar and it is like 20 kilometers which takes around half an hour to reach. It means 40 kilometer per hour is your speed of car. But a car driver will have to put 100 times or more than 100 times a break maybe another 100 times for accelerator and maybe in between he may have to change his gear also multiple times. If you put it on a 40 km per hour speed without any brake, without any accelerator, will he be able to reach from Sabarmati to my clinic Nehru Nagar? There is no possibility, it can't be. I mean the same speed we are putting it, fix it up, no brake, no accelerator. No, it's not possible. So similarly, a type 1 diabetic, whatever you decide that this is the basal dose, this is the bolus dose, this is you are calculating H per the carbs, this is you are calculating H per weight, nothing works. There are thousand factors in a day for sugar to get up and down and it is for every minute, for every second, for every half an hour which you just can't correct by taking insulin from outside. So we need something which is artificially intelligent enough to understand the sugar to understand the lifestyle of a person and to give the insulin as per the requirement as and when the sugar increase or decrease the insulin goes up and down. So with the person who is very well controlled and we specifically invited both of them and now they are on insulin pump your experience with the pump and how you could get motivated by, by you know how I could convince you people for a insulin pump therapy over to you Shraddha and Saurabh both. Both of you can be. Once again, round of applause for both of them. Any? Yes, please. Um, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. yes, yes. Okay. You can uh, be slightly more louder. You know. Okay. <laughs> or I am more louder. <laughs> um, my name is uh, Shraddha Purohit Shukla. Um, I'm a type 1 diabetic since 2001. It's been 24 years now. Whatever Dr. Bansi just told from taking manual pump, vial se bhar ke, fir inject karna, to pump. I have seen each and every uh, therapy of managing my diabetes. Um, recently, I shifted to Medtronic 780G, the automated pump. Um, I can, yes, I can say that my life has changed for good. Um, my HbA1c, yes, I, I'm always a disciplined one how much to eat, what to eat. While taking the manual injections, I was able to manage my HbA1c below 6.6. .6. So it's, it's always 6.3, 6.4. It was well controlled. But after pump, my HbA1c has even gone down from 6.4 to the recent one was 5.6. Wow, non-diabetic range. So, but yeah, it, it, keeps, it keeps in between 5.6 to 6.2-ish. 
which is which is even Same better <laughs> yeah <laughs> i am free diabetic <laughs> so uh, so yeah it, it's still it's still um, on a on a better side um, i can focus more on other things in my life i can focus more on uh, um, my career my hobbies um, i can have some extra cheat days in a week having some extra slices of pizzas uh, but it's all all managed very well um fluctuations are still there depending on some hormonal imbalances and things like that but that's that's far better managed as compared to the manual injection shots and uh, last but not the least i can go on and on tell me when when to stop um but uh, i can sleep well without any interruptions so the best part is that you know you have not to worry for your sugar up and down that's a very important thing you think of Thank a you. persons with type 1 diabetes i will invite two more persons who are here with type 1 diabetes because they might be managing their hb1c i am sure and they were having also the sugar which was less than 7 hb1c they were fine when they will go to the doctor doctor will be very happy they will clap for them see your sugar is the best control but to get that best control how much efforts they are putting in they are just calculating each and every meal each and every time their exercise time their insulin dose calculation and everything and in between also they develop so many hypoglycemia so the best part is she told you now she can sleep well and that's very very important over to you sir hello so she has covered everything uh, as dr bansi said i mean we we were very disciplined we had our hba1c around 6 6.5 and that's the region, reason nhs was not giving us that pump just because they were very well controlled so that was that that point of time when they were in uk yeah. the nhs has a policy that they will be giving pump only to the uncontrolled person i mean that was the again advocacy was done it means like someone who is more uh, yeah. which is which is not a good reward a good for thing. being I disciplined mean, so, so like that <laughs> someone who is coming first in the time or in the conference he is not been given the award rather the last one yeah. to be given that so. yes so uh, to achieve that 6.3 6.5 we have to put in a lot of calculation every day in day in day out i mean utna effort maine agar maths mein high school inter mein mara hota to 100 top kar gaya hota so uh, see said ki we we get in a lot of time for other activities pehle raat mein अगर एक पिज्जा खा लिया तो रात भर हमें मल्टीपल इंजेक्शन लेने पड़ते थे बट अभी वैसा नहीं है दिस पम्प विल टेक केयर ऑफ इट सेल्फ थैंक्स टू डॉक्टर बंसी ही शो न सर डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव दैट वॉट एवर यू आर डूइंग राइट नाउ यू आर डूइंग गुड बट यू इट कैन बी बेटर सो वी वेंट अहेड and it has been around 6 8 months we are and now they are not coming to me yes <laughs> so i mean he's required to come he keeps on calling come back come back but we don't go there <laughs> now they are so, no more coming so uh, worst part We're was very happy we don't yeah, want you worst part was i mean i have been an athlete and when i play cricket most of the time the uh, sugar levels will shoot to 500 600 even i mean 450 500 was normal and it will come down drastically to 50 60 now i play cricket and every uh, week i play thrice and i go there and i keep tucking at it and it takes care of everything i mean it it keeps everything in the range and that's the best part for me because at certain point uh, in my life i thought that i should leave i should give up all those things because uh, if you are putting in a lot of effort for 20 25 days and for a couple of hours it is shooting up to 400 450 it just demotivates you so now yes uh, things are better uh, as she mentioned that we get enough time to put in our efforts in other activities and we are sweetly married for last 10 years we know we knew each other before that it has been 14 years so when you have a partner like her I mean that's a different world, <laughs> different uh, thing altogether. But two people under the same roof, uh, having the same thing, it is very difficult. But I will give a lot of uh, credit to this device. Now that extra headache to us is very minimal. So thanks to Dr. Bansi once again, and thanks to Mr. Chetan, he has put in a lot of effort to uh, you know teach us how to operate the pump. and 
Yes, uh, I will recommend anyone. If you can afford it, go for it. Thank you. So, if anyone have any question, yeah, I have yes. Question. Um, with the pump, hypoglycemia um, does occur, but it's a very, very manageable uh, situation. If you, if you ask me to compare the hypoglycemia episodes with the injections and with the pumps, no, the I'm not asking that. I'm saying, say when you were at six or six point five. Yeah. See, it again, um, it again all depends on how you're managing your day-to-day -day schedule. So, for example, some hypoglycemias are very different, like 80, 85, I would feel a little more shivery, but sometimes even 65 is okay. Uh, so I don't feel I anything. To, to he can answer better, I guess. I want to add something. If you are being more strict with that, Obviously, in pump, you have got the facility where you can 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. But with injection, you have to take one unit. Yeah. And that's a big quantity compared to 0 0.2. So it has been the epi uh, there have been episodes where we have gone into hypoglycemic state, but that was manageable. When I compare it to pump, I can see the readings, and I have that facility to uh, you know, bring it down. Bring it down in the sense, uh, factor it not taking one unit, two unit in one go, take point two. If it works, okay, otherwise go for another point two. So you just minimize that chances of getting into hypoglycemia. So in a very scientific way, I just want to explain you. One is the definition of hypoglycemia goes when it goes below 72 and severe hypoglycemia when it goes below 54. That's number one. The second is the symptomatic hypoglycemia may someone may have below 90 or 80 also depending on what was their previous glucose level. But what is more important when we understood the concept of continuous glucose monitoring and time in range that how much time in 24 hours you are going and what is your episodic and that remain for how much how many minutes or how much time in a day you are getting in hypoglycemia then it's like a self-manageable or it requires so that's grading three to one that's you know grade three mean severe you have to get hospitalized you become unconscious grade two you need somebody's assistant and grade one hypoglycemia which you can manage on your own so these are the three varieties of grade one grade two and grade three hypoglycemia the best part which he told you already because in an insulin pump i'm in the pain you can have one or the junior pump you can have 0.5 but when you want to put someone on a 0.1 on a 0.2 that possibility is not there that's a very very minimal dose the chances of getting hypo will be further reduced so you can understand that risk of hypoglycemia will be always there when you want to have a tight glycemic control but it will not be like that so it's like a you are running a car with a on a highway with a 100 kilometer per hour so there is a possibility always that you may have a jerk or you may have accident also but you are not going to have that because you have all safety it's not for that you will first you will have accident and then you will have the balloon to come out it's not like that it's not severe hypoglycemia where you are going to get admitted rather than it will prevent from that because it is predictive hypoglycemia will be taken care by the artificial intelligence so that's the best part of this insulin pump therapy to know more about the insulin pump, the biggest question whenever it comes, I mean, we have two more persons with us with type 1, so I will require, I mean, I will request both of them to Sumit and Ravindra. Sumit, please, and Ravindra, please, here. So I think they are managing on insulin injection or pump, Sumit? Uh, here on MDI, no, on pump. On pump. And you are managing it on through? Uh, looping, looping. And uh, you are managing through only the insulin. And see the physique, see the exercise, see the gym he goes and is still managing with multiple daily insulin injections. I will request them to come here also again. Yes, please be here. We can have two more chairs. Dharmendra, you open again. So other than cost, I mean, I'll be asking you other than cost, what is the reason why you don't want to be? I mean, he is already on looping, which is again the best way of the advanced hybrid closed loop system, which is one done by the company and other he is doing on his own, managing uh, his algorithm. But if I ask you a direct question, 
why you are not on pump. If the cost is not an factor, then what other thing which is preventing you on not to be on pump? First of all, the for me is like cost is affected. Yes, That's so why I'm not on the insulin pump. But still, I am managing my uh, HbA1c at 6.8 on MDI. So one is the 6.8 HbA1c thinking in the doctor's mind and the patient's mind also, or the persons with diabetes. It gives you the information of last three months. So please make sure that your HbA1c tells you what you have done in last three months. It does not give you any information what you are doing today and what will be your A1c tomorrow. I mean. It just gives you the information of last three months, what you have done in last three months. Yes, sir. So you are managing HB1C. As I told you, both of them were below seven. I mean, that's the best thing. But to get seven or even near seven, we have 1800 type 1 diabetes who are adult to children. We are seeing since last then 20, 25 years. I am following them. 800 patients are coming to my clinic regularly. We support them. We were having 11, 10, 9, 8. Now, below 8 to achieve and where we are educating them not for half an hour. It's a full day program. In like in my clinic, if someone comes in the morning, he has to go by evening only. I mean, he has to arrange for lunch or otherwise we have to arrange for lunch. So, it's like there's a full day program. It's not a half day or it's not like a for few minutes or few hours consultation. It's a full day program. So, and then still it is very, very difficult for us. And we don't say that each one should be on pump, but I really appreciate you and that below seven or around seven you are managing. It's really difficult for us to motivate those people to come around it because once they come around it, somewhere they develop some severe hypo in between. And then they, no, no, sir, now we can't increase because glargine we can't increase by 0.5. Uh, the short acting to give them a quick pen of 0.5 is costly because it's a disposable one only. And to correct them about a six times for 0.55, they are not agree. And then to check the sugar there seven to eight times without CGM. And again, to put them on a CGM is costing them 10,000 rupees. That's again a challenge. And we could not learn that. We tried to learn that you put the IGP and then try to do it for 28 days by doing a different methods or using some other app. So how you manage you around seven and with so much exercise? Hmm. That Actually, first of all, uh, when I diagnosis with di type 1 diabetic, after two years, I have to increase my knowledge. Okay, what is type 1 diabetic? Before that, my HPA1C was around 9, 8.5, between 9, 8.5 continuously two years. After that, I start uh, uh, do some exercises on type 1 diabetic and what is type 1 diabetic deeply. And uh, each and every day, I have to learn. First of all, if you are not learning in this process, you can't manage your diabetes. Aapko compulsory pehle ye cheez ko samajhna padega ki cheez hai kya aur ye kaise work kar rahi hai. To maine is cheez ko pehle deeply dekha kya hai, kya mere agar mujhe isko time in range mein lana hai, agar mujhe iska HbA1c agar suppose 7 ke niche lana hai ya 6.5 ke niche lana hai to mujhe uske liye karna kya padega. Aap CGM lagate hain? Ha? Aap CGM lagate hain? Maine CGM last 2 years maine use kiya. Abhi nahi kar raha. अभी मैंने लास्ट थ्री मंथ से यूज नहीं किया तो मैंने पहले सीजीएम जब यूज करता था तभी भी मैंने देखा कि आफ्टर एक्सरसाइज ड्यूरिंग एक्सरसाइज फ्रॉम द मॉर्निंग से लेके इवनिंग से लेके कि मेरा सेव ग्लूकोज कैसे मॉनिटरिंग कर रहा है मैंने डिफरेंट डिफरेंट इंसुलिन यूजेस किए बोलस यूजेस किए लिमजो ट्राई किया फीएप्स ट्राई किया एपिटा ट्राई किया एक्टा भी ट्राई किया तो मैंने देखा कि समझा कि कौन सी इंसुलिन कैसे वर्क कर रहे हैं बीजल कैसे वर्क कर रहा है बोलस कैसे वर्क कर रहा है फिर मैंने अपने ट्रायल मेरे ट्रायल एंड एरर मेरे से मैंने खुद सीखा कि ये चीजें कैसे वर्क कर रही है मेरे लिए मेरी बॉडी के अकॉर्डिंग जैसे कि अगर मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर नॉट गोइंग टू द जिम मैंने चूज किया कि नहीं एक बार मैं ट्राई कर सकता हूं कि मैं जिम जाऊं देखूं मेरा इंसुलिन कैसे यूज वर्क कर रहा है प्रॉपरली फिर मैंने कंटिन्यूस मैंने सात आठ साल मैंने अभी मुझे जिम फील्ड में करीबन आठ नौ साल हो चुके हैं पर मैंने कंटिन्यूस उस ग्लूकोज को मैंने देखा मॉनिटरिंग किया कि अगर आपका जितना मसल मास बॉडी में इंक्रीज होता जाता है आपकी इंसुलिन सेंसिटिविटी भी उतनी इंक्रीज होती जाती है तो फॉर मी प्रस्पेक्टिव के लाइक मेरे लिए जिम बहुत ही बेनिफिशियल रहा है बट फॉर टाइप टू इट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट आई मीन फॉर टाइप वन डेफिनेटली बिकॉज फॉर एवरी एक्सरसाइज इज ग्रेट एंड इट ऑल्सो इंप्रूव योर इंसुलिन सेंसिटिविटी 
it helps to improve your sugar control better because whatever the sugar spikes is there if you are doing good amount of exercise then it will help you to have a better control but for type 2 there is nothing like it if someone is doing exercise but for type 1 sometime it becomes very difficult this time even there was a paper in ESD and somebody had done work only for the people who are like gymming like he or you or someone who is doing marathon run or someone who is doing a lot of sports activity and even they are on insulin pump you know how to because sometimes the pump is not also able to predict because pump is a artificially intelligent they know that every day you are going to do exercise at 5 pm so that they will learn but sometimes you start at 4 o'clock sometimes middle of the night you are going to start your marathon which is at 4 o'clock so they will not able to understand that why this guy has suddenly started doing exercise and sugar is getting down and he may not stop or may stop in between and then he may develop hypoglycemia also so they are doing a lot of i mean uh, study on these aspects also but still, you know, I met uh, this guy, Pakistani, uh, Vaseem Akram. So, in, at the age of 16, he developed type 1 diabetes. He was an adult type 1 sort of and he was doing bowling. It was uh, in Pakistan. At that time, only the regular insulin was available in Pakistan. And uh, he was asked to check his sugar multiple times. And when he was taking like a premix insulin, he tried, he developed a lot of hypoglycemia. Then he tried a NPS twice a daily. And Ectrapid, he went to a consultation because he was already started playing in the matches. So he went to UK. So somebody told him that, you know, you take one, one unit, multiple times you check your sugar. So in, throughout the day, in 10 to 12 hours from morning evening time till late in evening he used to check his sugar 10 12 15 times and he used to check and take the sugar on one unit two unit one unit two unit we invited him here he had done two three times he had come at that time he was Ross brand ambassador and i invited him as a chief guest also in our one-off meeting in kolkata and we invited him also one in International Diabetic Federation and then he became Ross brand ambassador for their Ross glucose meter and then he was on insulin pump but that's how he used to manage so I'm asking you like if someone is marathon runner or someone who is like doing so much exercise how many times you have to take the insulin injection are you taking only three four shots no or do you check your sugar more frequently uh, I am doing my uh, check my sugar more frequently throughout the days and I am uh, injecting myself around five to six times in a short uh, acting uh, short acting insulin or uh, multiple correction like uh, before I going to gym I check my sugar it, it almost around 180 or 170 then I take my one unit of insulin because I know there are sometimes of fast twitch muscle and sometimes slow twitch muscle of my body so I know how to uh, act with them so if I am if I am going for my leg, my, uh, leg exercise so when I am doing squats and heavy deadlifts then my uh, sugar will be increased but when I am doing like my upper body push pull legs workout then my sugar will be decreased so there are lots of factors affected so i have to be prepared for that great so tomorrow also we have a one dedicated program only for type 1 we have 300 young adults and some children who will be there at Andavad management association i would like to invite you there because that's what we want to teach type 1 children and their family that they have not to just depend on three or four times sugar checking which we are asking them if they don't want to be on the pump they have to check their minimum sugar time which is six times and every time they have to take the correction dose and insulin carb ratio they have to learn more yes over to you sir i mean you started with a premix then nphr then on analogs and then you are on on pump therapy perfectly sir I have been doing type 1 since last 34 years and जब उस time पे जब manual serialize करना पड़ता था तब से मैं insulin ले रहा हूँ at that time जो needle आती थी जो cartridge की size की needle आती थी उस time से अभी तक all kind of insulin मैं try कर चुका हूँ and अभी at that time normal procedure was के half an hour आपको every time lunch के पहले half an hour का process रहता था and now insulin लेने के लिए now on my tips only just खाली वॉट्स एम इंसुलिन ले लेता हूँ। जैसे पूरी जर्नी मैंने देखी है। सो बहुत पास्ट में नहीं जाता हूँ। बट रिसेंट जर्नी की बात करूँ कि लास्ट फोर इयर्स से मैंने जैसे उसने बताया कि आपको खुद को एडुकेट होना जरूरी है। 
रविंद्र ने बताया कि खुद को एजुकेट होना जरूरी है तो पिछले चार पाँच साल से मैंने डायबिटीज मैनेजमेंट के लिए खुद एजुकेट हुआ तो समाओ आई मैनेज माय एच बी वन सी बिटवीन सिक्स टू सिक्स टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव ऑन एम डी आई एंड मेटाक्यूलियसली काप काउंटिंग करके और ऑल द डायबिटीज मैनेजमेंट के सभी एस्पेक्ट को यूज करके सिक्स टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव के बीच में मैं मैनेज uh, करता था और इवन एवरी सिंगल मील जब से मैंने काप काउंटिंग शुरू किया सिंस लास्ट फोर एंड हाफ ईयर्स एवरी सिंगल मील मैं uh, वे करके लेता हूँ और उसमें इंडिविजुअल कौन से फूड में कितना काप्स आता है फैट प्रोटीन और फाइबर आता है वो इंडिविजुअली करेक्ट कैलकुलेट करके लेता हूँ बट uh, वो पिछले तीन साल से सिक्स के बीच में मैंने मैनेज किया बट फर्स्ट टाइम मैं कन्फेस कर रहा हूँ कि मैं पहले ऐसा बोल रहा था मुझे ज़रूरत नहीं है पंप की क्योंकि मेरे कलीग्स और मेरे सम लव लॉर्ड्स वंस बोलते थे कि तू इतना सारा अच्छा मैनेज कर रहा है ऑलमोस्ट एक ग्राफ मुझे एम डी मिला था जो सर पूछ रहे थे कि कितनी बार इंसुलिन ले रहे थे मैं एट टू टाइम्स एट टू टेन टाइम्स अ डे मैन्यूल इंजेक्शन ले रहा था इवन बेजल भी दो बार स्पीड कर रहा था फॉर गेटिंग बेटर मैनेजमेंट और एवरी टू थ्री आवर्स के अंतराल पर इंसुलिन ले रहा था बट आफ्टर मूविंग ऑन पम्प पिछले चार पाँच महीने से मैं पंप पे और उसके तुरंत एक वीक के बाद में लूपिंग पे शिफ्ट हुआ सो फर्स्ट टाइम मैंने मेरा मेरा थर्टी फोर ईयर्स की लाइफ में मेरा एच बी वन सिक्स फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स आया ये ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ इन ओनली ड्यू टू इंसुलिन पंप एंड लूपिंग के हिसाब से बाकी वो जो मैन्युअली uh, मैनेज करना है वो सब कंटिन्यू चालू ही है बट फिर भी uh, इतना फर्क पड़ा पंप आने के बाद then uh, cost is the biggest issue in india right so everybody is worried about the cost so now in the gujarat government might might be dr bansi sir is good person to talk about that might be gujarat government has started who uh, who is doing uh, whose parents are doing the government job they are offering some concession like uh, over the insulin pump so uh, for the uh, them perspective it will be helpful they may they may uh, they may get some discount i was talking with the chetan uh, so chetan bhai like you that. know for the doctors i yeah. just telling you because the cost is a very very relative yeah. term i don't think a 6 lakhs is the costly to be very frank it's not that because i can afford 6 lakhs rupees to be very frank it's a complex design instrument machine which is available to improve the care for a life for a person it's costing just 6 lakhs rupees just 6 lakhs rupees that's what my perspective for a therapy like this now what happen if something which is done by everyone लाइक like, सबके घर में फ्लैट टीवी है तो आपके घर में भी फ्लैट टीवी होना ही चाहिए वो पचास हजार रुपए कमा रहा है तो भी उसको पचास हजार रुपए में भी फ्लैट टीवी चाहिए सबके घर में फ्रीज है तो सबके घर में फ्रीज है तो आपके घर में भी आना चाहिए सबने गाड़ी ली तो हमारे घर में भी आनी चाहिए बिकॉज इट इज फॉर एवरी वन देन वी फील वी शुड ऑल्सो गेट इट एंड दस द रीजन पीपल गो फॉर द इंश्योर आई मीन फॉर बैंक दे गेट मनी और समथिंग और अदर थिंग एंड दे ट्राई टू अचीव फॉर दैट राइट वेन इट कम्स फॉर ए डिजीज कोई बीमारी के लिए आती है बात तो हमको लगता है कि क्यों मेरे को ही है ओनली मी आई एम द वन हु इज हैविंग नॉट एवरी वन इज दैट एंड दैट्स द रीजन आई स्टार्ट फीलिंग दैट इट इज कॉस्टली बिकॉज सबने सूट पहना है सबका पांच हजार ही लगता है मेरे को पता है अंदाज में मैं आया था पांच सौ रुपए में सिलते थे लोग अभी पांच हजार रुपए लेने लग गए सिलने के हमको भी लगता है बराबर है मैं अहमदाबाद पढ़ने आया था दो रुपए में हम मोहन सिनेमा में पिक्चर देखते थे आज दो सौ रुपए की टिकट लेके देख रहे हैं हमको वो कॉस्टली नहीं लग रहा है हम पांच रुपए का दो रुपए का पॉपकॉर्न मिलता है आज दो सौ रुपए का पॉपकॉर्न मिलने लग गया पच्चीस साल के अंदर वो हमको कॉस्टली नहीं लगता है ये होटल के अंदर हमने जब फर्स्ट टाइम कॉन्फ्रेंस की थी तब छह सौ रुपए का उन्होंने लंच रखा था आज दो रुपए कर दिए इन लोगों ने लंच वो हमको कॉस्टली नहीं लगता है सो cost is a very relative term i mean because it is done for everyone then we start feeling it is inflation then we call it say in a very simple term it's a inflation but when it comes to only to you because you are the only one who is to pay for it then we call it it's very costly so even suppose karo main yadi kisi ko puchu ki iska 6 lakh ki jagah iska 60000 rupaye ho jata to aap ye nahi kehte pump costly hai 60000 mein bhi costly hai kyunki kisi ke kisi ke liye to costly hai hi 60000 bhi nahi afford kar payega किसी के लिए छह हजार भी कॉस्टली है जैसे आज का खाना लंच दो हजार रुपए कई जनों के लिए कॉस्टली है दो सौ रुपए का खाना है भी लंच मेरे ख्याल से अहमदाबाद में पचास परसेंट लोगों के लिए लंच दो सौ रुपए का भी कॉस्टली है शायद उनके लिए बीस रुपए का लंच है एवरी डे सो दॉस्ट इज वेरी वेरी रिलेटिव टर्म द पॉइंट इज फ्रॉम द फिजिशियन टेक होम मैसेज इज दस कॉस्ट इज डेफिनेटली एन इश्यू 
you should talk to the patient for a all socio economic history but please make sure that you should offer the best treatment for your person who is coming to your clinic number 1 and i tell you in a story a person who had come from a rural part of gujarat and i was thinking that this person need or this girl i should give them a free insulin i don't charge even for any type one so we should give free insulin and glucose meter and strips everything and after giving all these thing we explain we educated all those things is be done the father asked me what is the best treatment so i told we were explaining all and for every patient we explain everything for whatever reason whether we patient may be poor patient may be rich it, anything because we have to tell what is the best treatment which is available and as i told you it's not one hour half an hour consultation it's a full day consultation so we have to keep on talking so we know every history of the patient everything about the patient so then you know after explaining all this thing the father asked that i want to give the best treatment for my so you are not the one who can judge the relationship between the caregiver and the person who is having you are not the one so don't judge as a doctor as a physician what person is let him have the best treatment which is available the caregiver may give the best but you should explain to the persons living with type 1 or to the caregiver or family what is the best treatment available patient may buy you don't know that he have the lot of vigao ma jagya hai the you don't know that you start feeling that you are very poor man so that patient was that ready ke sahab mari taraf thi ek bhi na bija na bhi aap ho hai usse gift karo so you know that sort of thing we get with this i end once again thank you to all of you and all those who are here to learn to know more about type 1 diabetes more about the insulin pump therapy we do multiple programs around the year around the country across the country so many programs online program there is a dedicated technology conference in india technology conference in asia that is in singapore dedicated meeting in amsterdam lot of insulin pump you can learn if you want to do only on esd learning program attd learning program need not to listen us you can just listen who are what the experts are saying so many things are there with this once again thank you everyone